Hi, in this video, I'll talk about Azure Role Based Access Control, which is also called as a RBAC. So, what exactly is RBAC? Microsoft says it is a system that allow or it provides a fine grained access management of Azure resources. So, basically, we can give various roles to the individual team members so that they can perform their jobs independently. What I can do with the Azure RBAC? We can allow user to manage virtual network in a subscription and also another user to manage virtual networks. We can give the DBA access of SQL databases in a subscription. We can give the complete access to the individual users or we can give the relevant access in terms of owner, contributor or reader access to the users on various resources. RBAC can be divided into four categories. We can implement that role based access control on the resource level. We can implement on the resource group level. We can further implement it on the subscription or in the management group level. So whatever the resources come under the particular hierarchy, the user will have all the accesses. Azure broadly defines three different roles, reader, contributor, owner. In case of reader, the user will have only the read access, contributor have reader plus the modify access, owner will have contributor plus he can assign the roles to the various users. Azure has provided various built-in roles. So I can share this link and you can just go through it. The built-in roles are contributor, owner, reader, which I just mentioned and based upon the resources or based upon the various level it has divided. For example, on the compute, we can see disk restore operator, virtual machine contributor, virtual machine administrator login. And what exactly this role talks about? It also has mentioned there virtual machine contributor. It says create and manage virtual machines, manage disk, install, run software, reset passwords. You can just go through it. So we can assign various kind of roles which are mentioned here to our individual team member based upon our need. In this video, I'll go and use these built in role and also I'll show how we can get the custom roles. So let us jump directly into the Azure portal and see how this works. I'm going to portal.azure.com. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to create a new user. For that, I have to go to the Azure Active Directory and let me type in the search bar Azure Active Directory and I'll click on the icon for the Azure Active Directory. Then I'll be taking into this default directory where I'll click on the users and then I'll click on the new user and I'll say demo RBAC and uh, name I'll say test user and I'll just click on this to check what is the password and let me open my notepad here and I'll just save this and everything looks good. I'll click on create. So the user is created. Now what I will do, I'll just go to incognito window and I'll log in again with the user which I have created. And the login ID of this user is, let me just copy that also. I'll just copy and bring back this window, paste it here, click on next. And password is, I also saved it in the notepad. So click on sign in and we have to reset the password first. And click on sign in. Yes. Okay. So the user is created and we are able to log in. And if you see the user does not have access to any of the resource right now, this user is not linked to any of the subscription, which allows this user to create any resource or to view or to do anything with any of the resource. So we need to give the access to this user. Now I go back to the main account and in this, what I will do, first of all, I'll create a storage account and I'll click on the storage. I'll click on create. Then I need to fill some information. And first is the resource group. So I'll say Rohit demo RBAC. Click OK. Storage account name. So I'll say Rohit STRG demo RBAC. It should not contain special characters. So let me remove these hyphens. Region I'm okay, performance I'm okay, redundancy I'm okay, click advance, I think everything looks good. Click on review plus create and click on create. 
So it will take a moment to create a storage account. And since it is creating the storage account, what we will do, we'll click quickly go and create the virtual machine also. So I'll click on home and click on virtual machines, click on create. And again, we have to fill some information. So I'll select uh, VM RBSE. Everything looks good. I'll just go with the Windows 10 image. Username, some cool name, cool password. Looks good, looks good. Okay. I'll I'll just say review plus create. No need to go any of the other tabs. That's out of scope. Okay. One of the validation is fails. We missed some information and that information is, I think we need to click on Okay, now validation plus, click on create. So the resource is created. Let me click on the go to resource or I'll say, let me go to the resource group and we will see all the resources which this resource group is having. And if you see uh, the storage account is also created and the virtual machine. And as we know, along with the virtual machine, it creates the virtual network and the public IP address and network interface. So all these are also part of the same resource group. So first let me go to the resource uh, storage account and under the storage account. Now let us just go and give the reader access of this storage account to the user, which we have just created. And to do that first, what I need to do, I need to click on the access control. And here, if you want, you can just see the role assignments. So basically, uh, which user is having what kind of role for this particular storage account. And by default, it will have a few of owners access and also contributor access to some of the users. And if you want to add any of the uh, new user, so you need to click on add, add role assignment. And I want to give the reader access. So I'll click on the reader and then you need to click on the next. But if you want, there are different kinds of other rules are also available, owner contributor and backup operator. And you can just read through it and whichever role suits you, suits your need. You can just select that. And since I just want to give the reader X reader access, so I've selected the reader and then I'll click on next. And here I need to add the user for that. Click on this select member. And I think we have uh, given this demo R RBAC. So this is the user and then click on select and then click on next and it will just show you some information and no need to uh, worry what exactly this information means. Just click on review plus assign. So it will just take a moment and it will show you when this user have the access. So uh, assignment is added and if we scroll down, we can see the reader access is given to this particular user. User will not have the immediate effect. It will take around four to five minutes so that the user will have the reader access. So, but let me go to the window and I'll just refresh it and or I'll click on the resources and just me refresh again it will take around four to five minutes uh, so the error is coming but it will uh, we have to uh, wait for some time so let me just pause and come back once we have the access okay so let me just refresh it again cool now, if you see uh, this demo user is having the access of the storage account and let me click on that. And he is having the complete access, but it is just the reader access. Let me go to containers. And since we have not created any container, so that's the reason uh, nothing is coming. Once uh, we will add any container with our main account, the global administrator account, then uh, the same can be visible to demo user. So let me go to the overview and let me try to delete and let's see if that works or not. So I'll click on delete and type the name of the storage account. Let me just copy and paste it here and let me click on delete. So cool. It says fail to delete the storage account. Uh, 
user does not have authorization to perform this particular action now if you see the action is microsoft dot storage the storage account or delete so if you want uh, this user should have the delete access now we need to give the delete role also but for now we are okay we are good here now next i will give the resource group level access to this particular user so that he will having the access to all the resources under the same resource group for that what i will do i'll go back to uh, my administrator account and i'll click on the resource group and under this resource group i need to click on the access control and again i need to click on add then i need to click on add role assignment and if you again i need to select on the role for which i want to give the access to the demo user and this time i want to give the contributor access let's say and then i need to click on next again i need to select the user and i'll select that then click on select and next again click on review plus assign and it will take a moment to add this role to the demo user and the role assignment is completed and i'll go back to the user i'll click on all resources till now uh, no changes implemented i think it will take a moment so that all the resources will be visible to this user let me refresh it again now cool now if you see all these resources are visible to the demo user and let me click on the storage account again and let me try to create a container to see if he has more access so let me say demo rbsc and let me click on create and to see cool the container is created bingo we are good here so this particular user now has the contributor access on the resource group level cool now one last thing i'll show how to give the subscription access to this user i'll go to my admin account i'll click on home click on the subscription go to the subscription and here click on access control again click on add add role assignment and select the role whichever you want for example let's say i want to give the reader access click next and then select members again demo rbc click select review plus assign review plus assign and it will take a moment to give the reader role to the demo user on the subscription level now the role assignment is completed but as you know it will take a 4 to 5 minutes to get it reflected so let's just wait so i'll go to the user click on the resources let me refresh if all the resources are visible ah, not yet let's just wait cool now if you see all these resources are now visible to the demo user so he has now contributor access at the subscription level cool so we are good here now next we will go and create the custom role and let me go to the global admin account and first i want to remove the subscription level access and for that what i have to do click on role assignments and click on this test user role click on remove click yes the reason i have removed is because i want to create a custom role and give the view of access and since with this uh, subscription level access this user has already the contributor role so the custom role will not be applied now now the subscription level access is removed i'll go to home i'll create another storage account and click on create again i need to create a new resource group so i'll say rohit demo rbac2 okay storage name i'll say rohit strg demo rbac2 everything looks good next 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 review plus create the reason i have created a new resource group because already on the 
older resource group the user has the contributor access the higher level access i don't want to uh, go with that i just want to give the custom access so custom role for that i am created the new resource group and a new resource click on create so in the meantime what i will do i'll click on home i'll again click on subscription and select the subscription click on access control and click on add and click on add a custom role so i'm going to add the custom role in the meantime the resource is getting created so i'll say rohit storage and there are various options are available like you can clone a role already which is existing and if there is already a json file you can just select that and just uh, give the file path but since we don't have any of these things i'll click on start from scratch then click on next and here you need to add the permissions for that i'll need to click on this add permission button and here if you see there are various available roles the built in roles which the microsoft has and you just need to customize whatever as per your need since uh my need is to uh, for the storage so i'll just type storage here and i just need to select the azure storage so microsoft storage i'll select that now there are various roles uh, which are available you can select as per your need but i just want to give the read only and the delete access that's it so for that i have to select the let me just check once it should be this and delete and read i think these are these two the access which we are uh, for which we need under the microsoft dot storage dot storage accounts delete an existing storage account and give the list of that this looks good click on add click review plus create then click on create so i think it will take a moment to create the role uh so the role is created the role name is rohit storage so we'll remember that click okay now click on home now to add the custom role i have to go to the storage account which we have created and click on the access control click on add add role assignment and select the storage select the role and rohit storage is the one click next and select member here we have to give the name demo rbsc the user which we have created click on select click review plus assign click on review plus assign now it will add the role assignment in a minute so the role assignment is done and as we know it will take 4 to 5 minutes to get it reflected so just we have to wait now i am into the demo rbsc and let me just refresh that and this another storage account is available let me click on that and let me try to add the container let's see if it works or not because i have given just the read and the delete access oh it does not allow it says fail authorization this you don't have the access for the containers aha uh -huh. i think there was some uh, i have not selected the proper uh, read only access but that's okay let me click on overview and let me just try to delete and see if that works let's see if this works or not cool so it has successfully deleted so we we did not select the proper read only role but the delete was okay so it was due to that it has able to delete the account and let me just try to refresh it so if you see it does not found this storage account cool so this is how we can create the custom role and assign it to any user in the azure cool